Alex. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Legit Street Cars, and today is the day. Today's the day that I surprise my wife with her freshly supercharged Cadillac Escalade. So in the last video, we installed this kit in just two days, and this Magnuson supercharger is supposed to take us from 420 stock horsepower all the way up to 640 very noticeable horsepower. Now in this video, we're gonna take the truck back to the dyno. We're also gonna try and make the supercharger whine a little bit more, but first I gotta get my wife's reaction because she hasn't driven the truck and I'm worried that if she does, she'll notice something's up because the supercharger power is pretty instantaneous. Now, I am a little worried about her reaction because my wife, ever since she met me, is no stranger to big horsepower cars. I mean, I picked her up on our first date like 12 years ago in my then 800 horsepower turbo Trans Am running 20 PSI a boost and sitting on a 28 inch tall Mickey Thompson drag radial and all the cars in between. And then the last couple of months, she's been driving around my P100D Tesla. So these are all very, very fast cars, but so is the Escalades. Ready to go for a cruise? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. I got the camera on the phone mount. You're just going to go full throttle, pedal to the metal. <laughs> this is a little excessive. <laughs> oh no, it's totally normal. Go for it. All right. Holy crap. Oh my God. What'd you, what'd you, what'd you think? <laughs> Hold on, Alex. What? You felt that. The other, the other truck didn't do that. Well, no, the phone mount was, the phone mount was really solid though. It's totally solid. <laughs> yeah. We needed that to test it, and it, it passed the test. <laughs> Alex. What? You want, you want to just do it again? We'll do another test? <laughs> no! The other truck did not do this. Well, I might have done something, but let's just, just, just do it again. Let's, we're in the middle of nowhere. Let's just try it out again. Alex. Well, this thing's pretty healthy, though. I got to say, I picked a good one. It was not expecting that. You felt that. I know you felt that. All right, so just come to a complete stop and then just stab it. Did you go all the way on that one? Yes. Okay, all right, just Good. do the same thing again. All right. All right, ready? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Man, the Platinum's fast, I gotta say. <laughs> this, this thing is sweet. Alex, I heard a whistle. It, it does sound your a little other, different. Your other cars had a whistle. Yes. Yes, some of them have had whistles. <laughs> How did what, that feel? Did, insane. <laughs> a truck should not do that. <laughs> Alex, what did you do? Well, what did you do? Well, you know how I had the truck for a couple of days? Yes. And I had to do some maintenance, which I did. Some spark plugs, <laughs> and I cleaned up the inside of the engine. I added something to it that makes that whistle. Turbo? Actually, a supercharger. You have what's a super. The what's the difference? Uh, they basically do the same thing. the The turbo, like on the Trans Am, <laughs> is spun by the exhaust, and this is spun by a belt. But that is neither here nor there. Oh my God. You now have a boosted Cadillac Escalade with 640 horsepower. <laughs> oh my God! I have it. Is this my car or your car? Well, yes, it's definitely your truck, but. You know, I might borrow this a little bit more than I did with the gray one. You've already had this car already more than me. Well, I know. I had to put the supercharger on it. <laughs> oh, and I got to bring it to the dyno right after this little cruise. So I got, I got to put the baby seats in the other car. Oh, and in two days, I have to pick up a new project car, which you know about. Everybody out there doesn't. Um, and I'm going to trailer at home. It's not that far. So I need this again. So I'm um, without a... A baby hauler yeah 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 <laughs> i might be taking this every once in a while but um but yeah now we will never be late for soccer practice ever again oh yeah <laughs> oh wait so wait when does it kick in because oh. the whole time driving here i didn't feel anything right right so. right so these are pretty instantaneous but you do have to basically like you know go at, at least half throttle to feel it, but the boost is there like almost immediately but when you're driving around it won't really affect your daily commute at all like you probably won't even hear it whine or whistle. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, everything should be fine. It won't even really affect fuel mileage like on trips and stuff. It's just when you okay. lay into it, you have an extra 
200 ish horsepower. But that 93 was more expensive. Yeah, that's the downside. We got to put 93 in it, but totally worth it. Let's do it again. All right, so now that you're prepared, go for it. Oh, oh my God. We broke traction. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. And we're in all wheel drive. This thing is a monster. Oh, my gosh. oh and now, now you're going to know the definition of boost weather. <laughs> do you know about boost weather? I've never told you about boost weather. So it's really cold out. So when it's cold out, there's more oxygen in the air. And the more oxygen you can bring into an engine, the more fuel, the more power it makes. So cars make more power when it's colder. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I know you like going to the track in the fall. Exactly. So in like your lineup of cars, how does my truck now sit with like... Oh, like fast. as far as power? Yeah, fast power. Whatever. Okay. So as far as fast, because it's still a gigantic truck, um... It's right, probably there with like the SVT Lightning pickup, something like that, maybe. Um, but as far as power, you have a ton of power. Like you have more power than my E55s did, you know, 640 crank horsepower. The Trans Am, you know, has like a thousand horsepower. So you're a little bit below that. I mean, we could work on that if you want. Well, we could get the new Escalade V and uh... compare it to what Alex's version of it is. <laughs> Make a video out of it. Yes. You're already turning this into your YouTube hauler anyways and taking away from me. But it's like $200,000 because right now the regular Platinums are like one fifty. The markup is insane. So that we built our own V because I think the power is going to be the same um, for like a quarter of what the new V will cost. <laughs> and that's just like a half throttle. It moves. <laughs> You can hear that wine. How do you like the wine? Would you like a little bit more wine? I think this is fine. What this about just a 25% more? <laughs> Me and OJ, we might we might play around with it a little bit today. Can tweak it right now? Well, we're going to try and make it sound different. Yeah, I can take on this car. It's in front of me. What is that? An, oh, an, F, an F type? Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely wax that. No problem. Let's, let's find more of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might just have to bring you to the track. You want to take the Escalade to the track? I would do that. All right, that'd be fun. I've never done that before. All right, guys, comment down below. Should my wife race the Escalade at the quarter mile drag strip once the snow melts? <laughs> I mean, do we even need to ask? Like, there will be no one that says no to that. So <laughs> you might be kind of committed there. All right, it'll be my first time. <laughs> I kept this going, by the way, for four months. So I've, what? yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I've had this supercharger for four months. Um, I don't know if you remember, but like in the summer, like three gigantic boxes were dropped off on the front porch and then okay. I, I immediately like, put them in the pickup truck and that's left. That's like an understatement of the year. Well, yeah, I, I get a lot of boxes, so you probably don't remember. But anyway, they were really big ones. I put them in the Lightning, booked it to the shop, <laughs> and uh, they've been hiding in the nasty shop bathroom the whole time. This this big semi, it's just, it's going too slow. It's <laughs> 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 Oh man, this is so much fun. I feel bad I'm taking it from you now. Anyway, uh, there's my wife's reaction. <laughs> Thanks guys. She loves me. <laughs> so with that, let's go hit the dyno. All right guys, we are at, well, Iron Gate. We're at Iron Gate right now. Correct. <laughs> so if you guys have never been to Iron Gate Motor Condos, just look it up or check it out if you're local. Uh, this is where OJ's shop is, by the way. So we're just kind of going around the back right now to get back on the road. Um, but Fluid Motor Union is situated right inside one of the coolest automotive gated communities in the whole country. Um, I'd agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a couple shows every month. Like, you know, it's 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 great. Anyway, uh, we are going to go find the road and they're moving some cars around uh, for the dyno. So I figured, I mean, I got to get this guy's reaction. We'll see how it stacks and, up to I mean, the... Uh... I've driven a few other of these with uh, various what you call forms of forced induction. Forced induction, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how this stacks up because this is apparently the new TBS. Yeah, this is the 2650, which you know, compared to the 2300, they, you know, the claims I'm pretty are... sure the one I driven was the 2300. Yeah, so it'll yeah, be this, interesting. To this feel. one's only a few months old, but yeah. So keep in mind before you see OJ's reaction that he literally works on supercars all day long. All right. Yeah, this is where it feels like. <laughs> yeah. So that top. It, it never stops, man. Yep. It never stops pulling. Traction on, see how it feels. I love it. 
<laughs> not yeah, even phased. You, you see how it picks up? Here. Oh my god, yeah, this is nuts, dude. Well, I have not gone. I haven't laid into it for that long, but man, it really goes after 60. Dude, how do you think this thing would stack up to like a stock SRT8 Grand Cherokee? Not a not a Trackhawk or anything, but not a Trackhawk. Um, it probably. It'd probably take it down. All right, guys, we're all set up on the dyno. And if you guys saw the install video, then you know what I'm about to show you right now. And that is that these louvers are currently open. So I haven't really seen a rhyme or reason to when these open or close. I mean, it just has to do with engine temperature, I would assume, from the factory. Um, but I'm not sure if the Magnuson tune opens these up maybe at wide open throttle. But right now, the louvers are open. The bottom ones, you can see the top ones are closed. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna watch this as we go wide open throttle, see if these active louvers open and close. Um, but other than that, the engine's been cooling down for about 15 minutes. We're about to make our first rip. So the Magnuson kit claims that it'll bring the output of this engine to 640 crank horsepower. And we've got a lot of experience on this dyno. It pulls about 25% away from that. So it did 302 totally stock. So that would be quite a bump in power, that's for sure and it's all coming from this guy here. All right, here we go. We're gonna get into a fourth gear. Louvers are still open. And they stay open the whole time. What are we at here? All right, guys, so OJ put up a pretty cool graph for us. You can see here, this is my best stock run just a few days ago at 302, basically. And then we just made two runs so far, and we're at 462. So a 160 wheel horsepower increase, which is almost exactly what Magnuson claims. So they claim a 220 crank horsepower increase. And if you multiply 220 by 0.75, you get 165 wheel horsepower increase. And we're pretty much right there. We've only done two runs kind of heat soaked after our little blast with OJ outside. Now, something really cool that we can compare this Escalade to is another identical Escalade, same engine, same generation, everything but this was a much more involved twin turbo setup and they did dyno it at seven PSI, which is exactly what we're running with the blower. And you can see the max horsepower is pretty much the same. So he's put both of the graphs up. I am the purple, the twin turbo one is the black. This is torque, so as expected, I have more torque right off the line. His turbos spool up, the torque goes a little bit higher and then everything kind of equals out for the rest of the run and similar for horsepower. I start off with more horsepower, turbo spool up he's got a little bit more horsepower then he comes down i stay even and yeah you can kind of tell that off the line you're gonna have a different driving characteristic with the blower but then on the top end they're they're very nice and even jay's out there he is signaling me that he's ready for another blast uh so let's see what happens and then i'm going to take out the air filter and see what that sounds like I mean, this thing just jumps. It's crazy. <laughs> we gained a little bit. We're basically at 466 wheel horsepower up from 302. So yeah, actually comparing it to the numbers that this particular truck actually put down, it's right there at that 220 yeah. crank horsepower increase. It's like spot on, man. More or less, it's surprising. So this is kind of where I expected to see it. Could we get it a little bit higher, cooling it down? Maybe we get that extra five, but you know, yeah. that's semantics at this point, you yeah. know, numbers. We know that the blower is doing what it advertises it's doing, you know? All right, guys, so this is my makeshift cone air filter. <laughs> As you can see, we really can't do much with the factory box. Here's the mass airflow sensor. We'd have to cut it and then put a cone on here or something. I wanna do something much cleaner. But first, I wanna see if it makes a huge difference in sound. So I've just kind of propped up the air box here. This should basically replicate what a cone air filter would sound like. Uh, and we'll see if it does anything horsepower wise. I don't know if it will. And check it out, we now make more horsepower than the twin turbo Escalade at the same boost level. And if you guys were around for the last video, we compared my 302 wheel horsepower 
to another Escalade that ran on the same dyno stock and it put down 315 wheel horsepower. And that was this truck before they did anything to it. And I think it had a thousand miles on it. So mine was down about 10 horsepower, probably because of the dirty valves and old spark plugs. But if you take Cadillac's claim of 420 crank and remove 25% from that, it's 315 wheel horsepower. So this Escalade here has provided us with an excellent baseline on a much newer truck. And then again, with a truck at the same boost level but with a different kit so thank you to whoever owned that twin turbo escalade that was here a few years back <laughs> oh man we're gonna have to make some future mods that's just in neutral revving it up it sounds so good Oh, and for you guys out there tuning, we are data logging. We're only getting up to 100 degrees intake air temp after two runs. That is really, really good, especially for this style of forced induction. So they got the whole intercooler system working out really, really well. music to my ears oh my gosh i love it <laughs> i'm totally doing an intake on this whoa look at this 482 wheel horsepower that is insane we gained oh, oh screensaver get out of here wow we gained almost 20 wheel horsepower literally just by lifting this up okay yeah so he jumped out a little bit early and that was only that was at like 5100 rpm where we were bringing the other ones i mean this is crazy we could probably get like 30 more wheel horsepower with a different air intake. With a different air filter, I'd say probably right. And that just shows you how restricted the stock one is in comparison. Yeah. All right, OJ, well, I know what I'm doing when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you got a, a filter that fits on there. I'll figure something out. All right, we're back at Legit three quarters and you know I cannot resist. At least testing out this air filter off the Turbo TA. There we go. So, you know, preliminary measurements here. That's all we're doing, people. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it, but I am saying that this fits perfectly in place of the air box. So uh, I don't know if they don't make like a nice kit or whatever, maybe I will chop this off, clamp it in and maybe figure out some piece of like plexiglass or something with a seal so that we're not getting the engine heat. But you guys saw a 20 wheel horsepower gain with just lifting this up and we only pulled it's like 5,200 RPM. So that's huge. Also, they make a bigger throttle body that'll bolt right up to this kit. So this is a factory 90 millimeter throttle body, but they make like 104 millimeter. Uh, so that's even more power there. So this plus that 40 wheel horsepower, my wife's, my wife's truck. I don't know, I'm getting too excited. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, uh, we're back at legit three quarters. I wanna go take Max for a ride and he's holding the camera. So Max, you know what we're doing next. We're going for a ride. You gotta feel this thing. All right, Max, I wanted to raise the air box for you, but it's so salty and nasty out. God forbid we suck up salt. I mean, this thing is, it's doing some work. So anyway, <laughs> this is with uh, 465 wheel horsepower. Okay. You ready? I think so. You sure? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> and then, dude, it just yeah. keeps going. No, it never stops. Oh my, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> it never stops. Okay, I wasn't, I was expecting a little bit of a jerk, <laughs> but I was not expecting that. So OJ, he, he kept it going for quite a bit longer than I just did right there. And wow. it, it literally never stops pulling. Holy cow. And the, uh, the intake air temps on the dyno were like rock solid, like only a hundred. So like the intercooler Jeez. system works it's really well. Real cold, yeah, really like, like you could just beat on this all day. I don't want to destroy these tires too bad, but I just want to show you that this thing can be, I just want to make sure it says, Four wheel shift in progress. Okay, we could be good. All right, here we go. We could literally roast them. Did, did your seatbelt suck up? <laughs> oh yeah. The seatbelt sucks up. It thinks it's like getting ready to get into an accident, but we could smoke these tires all day, Holy dude. Cow. They just don't want you going anywhere in a seat, man. <laughs> no, it's burnout mode. Holy cow. It's burnout mode. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm excited dude. to see what this thing will do. Zero to 60 and 
my wife said she'll she'll drag race this thing at the track. Are you serious? So once the weather clears up, we're taking a trip. Dude, we're taking a trip to the drag do, strip. You better do some side bets. Look yeah. at what that soccer mom and her rest. Yeah, right, right. right. She's gonna smoke. <laughs> Come on. We'll race. We'll race all the neighborhood moms. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, like driving around, like normal, you can't even tell. Yeah. Like you can hear a little whine. I mean, that's barely not anything, dude. But it's... Yeah. But I mean, obviously, you're gonna be editing this video. Wait till you get to towards the end at the dyno when I raised the airbox. Oh, man. Everybody just saw it. <laughs> but wait till crazy. you see that and hear that, dude. It's so so good. I had a so I had a 2014 Jeep SRT, and this thing would smoke that. You thing. think so? Absolutely. That, you know, it's funny. I asked OJ. I was like, "What do you think would win?" Because I mean, Trackhawk would beat this, oh, you know, yeah, obviously. Trackhawk. But like, I wonder if it would take a regular one because those I think are quick. it might. I think it might. Oh yeah. <laughs> just so smooth too uh all right guys that'll do it for today's video i don't know if i can smile like oh, anymore <laughs> my face uh, hurts. yeah <laughs> so if you haven't already don't forget to hit the thumbs up button share the video subscribe if you're new max is the guy that puts all the little pop 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 pops in the bottom <laughs> which he just probably added in there so good job max most importantly have an awesome day guys and i will catch you all in the next video we have so much cool stuff coming to the channel including more Escalade videos, and a new project car that we're towing with this. That's in two days, by the way. I haven't heard about this. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. Okay. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.